Welcome back. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for our Top 4 and 4 Countdown, where I review the top four stories of the week in four minutes. Let's begin. We start with headline number four. Certainly a tragic situation in Iowa. Police say a white man with a history of racial provocations and confrontations with police has ambushed and fatally shot two white officers in separate attacks as they sat in their patrol cars. Police took 46-year-old Scott Michael Green into custody hours after the killings and less than three weeks after he argued with officers who removed him from a high school football game where he had unfurled a Confederate flag near black spectators. The officers were fatally shot early Wednesday. Green flagged down an Iowa Department of Natural Resources employee in a rural area west of Des Moines, identifying himself and asked the employee to call 911. Sheriff's deputies and state patrol officers took him into custody. Up next, headline number three, opening statements are getting started in the murder trial of a white former police officer charged in the shooting death of an unarmed black motorist. The trial unfolds against a backdrop of violence by and toward police across the nation. A panel of 11 white jurors and one black juror will hear the case in a Charleston courtroom. Michael Slager faces 30 years to life if convicted of murder in the April 2015 shooting death of 50-year-old Walter Scott as he fled a traffic stop in North Charleston. In Ohio, a trial is underway for a white campus police officer charged in the death of a black man. A University of Cincinnati police officer claims he was in danger when he fatally shot a black man during a 2015 traffic stop. Video from University of Cincinnati officer Ray Tensing's body camera is considered pivotal in this case. The prosecution and the defense in opening statements offered conflicting interpretations about what it will tell jurors. Prosecutor Joe Dieters said Tensing was lying when he said he was in danger of being dragged to death. He said the 26-year-old Tensing acted contrary to police standards and the law when he shot 43-year-old Sam Dubois. Attorney Stuart Matthews said Dubois was using his car as a weapon. Headline number two has to do with some shady activity at the polls in North Carolina. The Justice Department says several North Carolina counties apparently violated federal procedures for challenging the registration of numerous voters. North Carolina's chapter of the NAACP argued at an emergency hearing Wednesday that several local election boards have improperly purged voter rolls in a process that disproportionately targets blacks. Their lawsuit alleges that Beaufort, Cumberland, and Moore counties removed thousands of voters from the rolls based on undelivered mailings by third-party actors. Activists. Well, the Justice Department noted in a court filing late Tuesday that counties need more evidence than a returned piece of mail and that federal law bars systemic removals within 90 days of the election. The Justice Department also says people cannot be removed from voter rolls for moving within the same county. The NAACP alleges some voters are being purged for that same reason. We head to the Windy City for our number one headline of the week. You know what I'm talking about, those Chicago Cubs. Fans have been hugging each other and crying now that their team has won a World Series after 108 years. At exactly 11.47 p.m. local time Wednesday, the Cubs won the World Series title that had eluded them for, again, 108 years. The Cubs beat the Cleveland Indians 8-7 in 10 innings in Cleveland. It was Game 7. As the game ended, the roar from inside the bars and the throng of fans on the streets was deafening before the crowds, both inside and out, saying, go Cubs go, at the top of their lungs. Thousands poured into the neighborhood around the ballpark to celebrate. For the first time in more than a century, there was no need to say, wait until next year. Well, wait until next week. Be sure to join me. I'll be counting down a new list of interesting stories and headlines that everyone is talking about. These stories consist of breaking news, politics, and all the other stuff in between. We'll be right back.